In this video, you're going to learn about special products of binomials. We're going to talk about two different patterns, the sum and difference pattern and the binomial squared pattern. So first of all, let's take a look at you know, these formulas. You're going to want to memorize them. You don't have to, but it's basically a shortcut. It'll make your uh, calculations a lot quicker and easier. So a sum and difference pattern means that you have one that's added and one that's subtracted, obviously, right? Sum and difference. But notice that the A and the B in this first binomial are the same as the A and the B in the second binomial. Now, we know the FOIL method or the distributive property. Let me just show you that real quick. So if we distribute the A, we get A squared. If we distribute the A to the B, we get negative AB. And then we get B times A and then negative B squared. But what you'll notice is, see the negative AB and the positive BA? Those are the same terms, so one's negative, one's positive, they cancel, and you can see we're left with a squared minus b squared. So when you see a pattern like this, all you have to do is multiply the a's together, the first terms, and the last terms. You don't have to worry about the inner product and the outer product, because those are gonna cancel out. We're gonna do some examples, you'll see how that works. But the second type that we're gonna work with is the binomial squared. So remember, binomial means two terms, and it's the quantity raised to the second power. Now, another way to do these problems, if you wanted, of course, what I'm trying to show you here in this video is a shortcut, is when you square something, it means that you have two of that quantity, right? So what you can do is, you know, you can FOIL this out, but I'm gonna show you how you can do this a little bit quicker. So A times A is A squared. A times B gives us AB. B times A gives us AB again. And then B times B gives us B squared. And you can see AB plus AB is two AB, right? So we're gonna talk about a quicker way of doing it. The quicker way of doing it is, you take the A, the first term, squared. You take the B, that's the second term, and you square it. But to find the middle term, you multiply A times B, and then you double it, or multiply it by two. Now what's interesting is that if you're adding, this is gonna be addition. But if you're subtracting, this is gonna be a negative or subtracting, okay? So let's jump into some examples, and I'll show you how this works. So example number one, you've got three X minus five, times 3x plus 5. We notice that this is a sum and difference pattern. A and B are the same, so we know all we have to do is multiply the first term in this group times the first term in this group, which gives us 9x squared, and then the last term and the last term. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, and that's it, you're done. Of course, you can FOIL it out, but this is just a time saver, right? So let's look at example number two. Now this one, again, we've got a sum and difference pattern. A and B are the same, 2x and 1, right? So we've got 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1, and that's it, you got it, right? Okay, number three, same thing, a sum and difference pattern. A and B are the same, 7x and 2. So we've got 7x times 7x is 49x squared. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and you're done. Now the reason that you know your teacher in your class, you're studying these special patterns with the sum and difference and the binomial squared is so that when you see it in this form, right, you'll recognize it, you'll be able to factor it, meaning going backwards into this form here. So that's the reason that you're learning these techniques right now at this point. But let's take a look. So 2x plus 3 squared. Now this is a binomial squared. It's the same thing times itself twice, right? So we're going to use this pattern over here. We've got the first term squared, which is 4x squared, the last term squared, which is positive 9. But to find the middle term, we multiply 2x times 3, which is 6x, and we double it, that's 12x, and you got it. Okay, let's try another one. This one you're subtracting. So same pattern, you can see it's a binomial squared. We've got 5y squared, which is 25y squared, the 5y times 5y. Negative 4 squared is negative 4 times negative 4, that's a positive 16. But to find that middle term, we multiply 5y times negative 4, that's negative 20y, and we double it, that's negative 40y. Now you're probably wondering, you know, okay, why are we doubling it, right? Well, let's just look over here again. So see the a minus b squared? That just means a minus b times another a minus b. And if you learn the FOIL method, the first, outer, inner, last, see the outside? That's a times negative b, which is negative ab. And then the i, the inside, that's the ones in the middle, that's negative ab. So what you have is negative ab, negative ab, that's negative 2ab. So that's why we're doubling, because you have two of that term. Okay, last example, see if you can do this one on your own. 4a plus 5b, the quantity squared, right? 4a squared is 16a squared. 5b squared is 25b squared, right? And then the middle term is 4a times 5b, that's 20ab doubled, that's 40a 
B, let me see if I can squeeze that in there, 40AB plus 25B squared and the 16A squared in front. So very easy patterns, but again, the reason you're learning this is so that when they give it to you in this form, you can work backwards and factor it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps to clarify how to work with these sum and difference patterns. Let me know if it did below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I've got hundreds of videos and I've got a link in the description below to an organized list of videos uh, by class, by chapter, by topic. So if you're looking for help in your math class and you like the way that I teach and the way I explain things, go ahead and bookmark that uh, page on my website so you can reference these videos to help you through your math class. So that concludes this video. I look forward to seeing the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.